Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you, Morgan? Good. How are you? Welcome. I'm doing well, thanks. Thank okay. you very much. Go ahead. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, as Morgan mentioned, my name is Ali Therani, and I am in, in the engagement partner with KPMG for the Registered Nurses uh, of Ontario Association. Um, I really appreciate uh, this time. Um, just bear with me for a minute here. I'm just having a little bit of a technical issue. Perfect. I'm back online. Thank you. Um, so I, I just wanted to, uh, as Morgan mentioned, um, remind you of a couple of things. So first, the financial statements of the organization are the responsibility of management. Uh, we as your auditors, we deliver the audit opinion on those financial statements. Um, I also wanted to report to you that we had the full cooperation of management. Um, we had really good, healthy conversations with Doris and Nancy and the team. And we just want to recognize all of their efforts, all of the time they put in. Um, obviously, in a pandemic, working remotely and trying to manage an audit is, uh, is not an easy task. So just a big thank you to you and your team. They worked really hard um, in order to make sure that we were all able to deliver on a timely basis. So, so just a big thank you to everyone. Um, we did meet with your board um, to present our audit findings. And we went through in detail our findings. Uh, management would have presented those financial statements and on February 26th, 2022, those financial statements would have been approved by your board. Um, and I am just going to pull up our audit opinion. Um, it's a rather lengthy opinion, which is standard. However, I think the key message is in our opinion as Morgan alluded to. Um, again, I'll remind this, uh, this group that your financial statements are presented in accordance with Canadian accounting standards for not-for-profit organizations uh, as you are a not-for-profit and I'll just read the opinion so in our opinion the accompanying financial statements present fairly in all material respects the financial position of the entity as at October 31st 2021 its results of operations its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with Canadian accounting standards for not-for-profit organizations uh, in layman's terms it, we issued a clean opinion or what you'd call an unqualified opinion, um, and we didn't note any material issues that we needed to uh, to bring to to, the, to to this group's attention. Um, that really ends my my formal presentation. Thank you again, but I'm happy to answer any questions uh, that might that might arise. Okay, thank you, Ali. Uh, so at this time, we'll answer any questions that you may have regarding the executive committee report or the auditor's report. So if you have a question, please indicate this by clicking on the participant box and selecting.